Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's been a while. A little bit over a year. No videos. So, I guess I got a little bit of explaining to do. Um, so, I'm going to call this series uh, Twist Talks. This will be Twist Talks Volume 1. Basically, just catching you up on all the things that have been going on since my last video, which is October in 2018. Um, not sure how frequently they'll come out. These won't be uh, extensive styles, things that I already have tutorials for. So I either put the video down below and link an I card so you can see how it turns out. But this is just going to be me um, doing the initial process. So you won't see the finished product. This is not a tutorial, just a talk and catch up. So if you are interested in seeing what's been going on in the last year, seeing how my hair is doing, um, please stay tuned. So I've already taken my bonnet off. Uh, this is my hair. It's doing pretty good since the last video that I filmed. Um, I've had some health issues. So uh, that's been a little bit difficult to maintain the health of my hair, but you know, it's still thick, still relatively shiny and healthy. I haven't done any major trims. Um, in the back, it's a little bit below bra strip length. So we're doing pretty good uh, with the hair excited to do some new tutorials i've ordered some new products i've ordered i just ordered the uh trifecta from melanin hair care so please stay tuned for that got some cool little products to try out uh, that i have and i'm ready to show you guys some favorites from over the last year so we'll go ahead and get started um this is literally just going to be a basic twist out with uh bantu knots at the end so and i do have a tutorial for that and it will be linked uh so end of 2018, I don't know why I stopped recording videos. I think it was just basically because uh, work got really, really difficult. Um, we lost somebody to another team and I had just literally started that job at, let me see, the middle, summer of 2017. And in a year, I basically took on the person that left job and half of my supervisor's job for us to balance out the workload. And I maintained that workload for, I literally just got a new person to help me out a couple weeks ago. So I maintained that workload for about a year and a half. Um, it was very stressful, very time consuming, and it didn't really allow for me to do much else um, socially. <laughs> I just, I felt like I was constantly drained. Like y'all, it was a lot and i uh but i'm thankful that we got some help and i did it i maintained it um didn't get any complaints uh so that was the main reason and then so the end of 2018 i um started dating somebody uh and we began a relationship in january of 2019 and we are coming up on a year so that was another reason um, I was just kind of taking the time to focus on that, be as present in that as I could, um, you know, making sure to devote the right energy and dedication and time. And YouTube takes a whole lot of time. So I wanted to be as present in that as possible. Um, so yes, like I said, we're coming up on a year uh, next week, actually. Uh, things have been going very, very well and um, super grateful for that. He uh, is interested in being on the channel, so I'm sure you guys will see him soon. Um, but that has been a really good experience. And I think that coupled with the fact that I, I went to therapy in 20, uh, 2018 and, you know, learned about boundaries and blah, 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 you know, that whole situation. Um, I really, really took the time to focus on that in 2019. All right, so realize I did that one and didn't tell you what I have. This is just a spray bottle of water. Um, the good old faithful twist and lock gel. And this is something new that uh, my boyfriend actually bought. It is a leave-in conditioner. Um, we got it from Eastern Market. It's called uh, the Pure Shea Store. I'll link it down below. It's got shea butter, coconut oil, hemp oil, castor oil, olive oil, soy oil black seed oil and mango excuse me mango fragrance oil um and it's a really really like thick i don't even know if you guys can see that there you go a thick leave-in conditioner with a bunch of oils and it makes your hair feel feel amazing um so yes i will continue uh so yes that was january of last year so i was like okay january get situated in that 
um february maybe we'll try to gear back up on the videos february i had a very very close uncle to me pass um and i took it kind of hard so i decided that i wasn't ready to get back on the internet at that time so i did not um and then let's see march is everybody's birthday in the world um my mom my sister my boyfriend um and then right after march i was prepping for my best friend's wedding i um we had her bachelorette party here in dc and her wedding was a cruise um so there was a lot of you know time and energy devoted into that to make sure that she had the best wedding possible let's see so that was march april the wedding was in may uh then traveling commenced like out of nowhere um i went to jersey and met my boyfriend's mom's side of the family um let me see june i don't know if i had any trips in june i can't think right now off the top of my head um july there were family reunions uh trips back home and then august i turned 30 so i had my birthday party which i'll try to insert some pictures um over here while i'm talking it was awesome it was a beautiful beautiful time nothing super fancy because i'm not super fancy just a couple of friends good food good music good drinks um family we had a blast uh then i looked up and it was already september y'all like every time i thought like oh, okay well you know I'll, I'll gear back up to record some videos like i even recorded footage from the uh from my birthday party in hopes of starting the channel back up and just did not have the time because then my focus became moving so i moved from uh alexandria to uh dc proper um so that took a lot of time because i had been in my apartment for almost four years and i literally had collected so much clothing and so many shoes and uh, just unnecessary things and it literally took me months i had like a closet clear out party where my friends just came over and they each took home basically like a mini wardrobe like that's how much clothing i had um but a lot of it was stuff that I could not fit. And I'm going to twist the back side of my other, the back side, the other side of the back of my head. And I will tell you why I could not fit those clothes. So stay tuned. both of the back sides done and I'm not sure if I said this because I recorded a clip and it didn't work um this my hair is dirty uh, I washed it last week I need to wash it now but I um I don't feel like it so <laughs> we're just gonna twist on dirty hair um but yes so let's see I'm gonna finish explaining the year and then talk about the health issues that have ensued so let's see um august was my birthday september my uh, grandmother had a stroke um she is doing better um but that was very like jolting to the family of course um so i made a couple of trips back home um during that time october my uh line from college celebrated our 10-year anniversary at homecoming so i went back to the tennessee state university in nashville to celebrate that with my girls um then november came and it was literally thanksgiving christmas new year's so time like it flew y'all like i don't know i blinked and the year was completely over um but so the summertime when my traveling started to uh commence things started to feel a little bit different um i've had acid issues with my stomach for a while um and but most of them are stress induced so when my anxiety is high 
I feel the acid in my stomach start to churn and I usually uh make myself sick uh not throw up but just serious pain can't sleep can't eat I have to, it, it's it's not fun but it has been a very long time since I have experienced any of those uh, symptoms I've been trying to do better about managing you know my stress and anxiety and using prep techniques to to help me through um so randomly right before I went to uh Solomon, that's my boyfriend's name, his family's family reunion, I started to experience that pain. Like I had, could not lay down. My stomach was just, uh, it, it's one of the worst feelings ever. Like I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but I took some medicine uh, for a couple of days, pushed through and I was fine. Didn't, that, that was it. Like I didn't know what caused it because I did not change my diet. It was very confusing um come the end of august i think it was it started to act up again and i was very confused like there was no explanation for why um i will say that i knew that i had been gaining some weight um but i could not pinpoint why i was gaining the weight i was working out i was eating um pretty much the same way Every time I gained a couple pounds, I'd, I'd try to figure out what it was. At the beginning of the year, I was like, oh, okay, it's just happy weight. You're in a new relationship. After my uncle passed, I was like, okay, maybe it's emotional eating. Um, but after those two specific incidents, incidents, excuse me, I tried to keep my workout regimen uh, pretty much intact. I was eating, you know, meal prepping, trying to eat healthy, you know, all that stuff, all the things that I usually do, um, were, they, they weren't working so after my um i had ended up having to go to the gastro uh office to get some some medicine because things weren't making sense um and at that point my blood pressure was like sky high um nothing made sense I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure things out but i did know that after that appointment that was actually in september um because i had i scheduled a physical um for the month of october and i gave myself a month and I worked out uh, four to five times every week. I was being very, very strict in my diet, restricting, you know, certain things, only allowing myself to have bread or pasta or whatever, like once a week. Like it was a lot. And I only during that time maintained my weight. I did not, or actually I think I gained like a pound or two. Didn't lose any weight, none whatsoever. And I was very, very baffled. And it was at that moment that I realized that something was not right with my body. Um, stuff just isn't making sense. And, you know, I, I tried to attribute it to maybe, hey, you're turning 30. Your body does weird things when you turn 30, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, um, my first appointment, we, of course, test all the, tested the things that are those usual uh, things, the indicators, you know, weight gain and blah, blah, blah. So we tested my thyroid. I had blood work. I had ultrasound. We did all that stuff. Thankfully, all that came back normal. Had to go back, do more blood work. We tested my kidneys. We tested my adrenal gland. Um, we tested my uh, female hormones. We tested, you know, testosterone, all these things to see if it was possibly PCOS. Um, and as of right now, I'm in the process, uh, j literally just made an appointment with the endocrinologist. Um, because we believe one of my hormones is not correct. Uh, I think it's called cortisol. I am not 100% sure that it is it. Um, based on blood work, it was, but I have to go get uh, a specialist opinion. So please stay tuned for that. I'll definitely keep that conversation going throughout this year. Um, but I will say that if you know something's not right with your body, don't let people tell you that something's not right with your body. Um, I know that I can easily maintain my weight i have been able to do it for years and within a year i gained 25 pounds just unexplainably like y'all i could not put my finger on it and i was literally doing the same things that i had been doing before um so i am working through the process of that now hopefully going to figure that out within the next couple of weeks that is the goal um and i will keep you guys posted 
on that other than that little issue my uh vitamin d was critically low which always the first place that i can tell is my hair my hair starts to act funny so i have been on prescribed vitamin d um a big old amount once a week so i'm hoping that from that my hair does uh continue to flourish it was it's been doing pretty oh, oh, click the camera it's been doing pretty good but i um I'm just hoping that it continues to stay thick, healthy, and prosper. Um, but outside of that, uh, those are the major things, y'all. Like, finally got some help at work so I can breathe. Um, I've moved in a wonderful, wonderful, a wonderful relationship. Uh, excited for you guys to meet him in the near future. Uh, my health. Um, my goal for my channel. Uh, cause this video is getting really long and I do apologize, but my goal for my channel in the future, I am hoping to come back and do just more than hair content. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I have been so lazy with my hair within the last year and a half. Um, but I am going to try to have some content, some protective styles for you guys. Uh, some updated tutorials. Uh, we are actually about to do some possible renovations on the house so i may try to do a series on that um i'll try to vlog a little here and there got a couple of trips coming up this year i'm in another wedding just a bunch of things y'all um so i'm excited to share that with you and the next video that should be coming up are my favorite things over the last year so it's going to feature a little beauty a little hair a little fashion um fitness all types of things so please stay tuned and if you have anything that you wanted me to do anything you want me to update any questions please leave them down below i will try to uh respond or record a video to satisfy those needs wants and concerns um please subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much my channel actually was still growing during the time that i was not active on it um which is mind-blowing to me um so thank you guys so much for that i am just a little bit shy of 10,000 subscribers and i would have thought that people would have been leaving left and right so you guys are awesome and uh, i am almost done perfect timing i don't think i have anything else to share regarding an update on life so as i wrap this up thank you guys so much for your support um please follow me on instagram i will put my information over here i am still very active up there and i was throughout the time that i wasn't on social media or excuse me i wasn't on youtube but other than that please stay tuned for what's to come like this video if you enjoyed it and i am about to go feed my face thank you so much guys see you in the next video bye